YouTube welcome back to the channel I'm your host TKK and we are back with another video guys judging from the last time that I did an unboxing on this TV which was literally a week ago uh, the discovery of the dent in my panel didn't come out so good with this camera which is a Sony ZV-1 I just wasn't able to capture it as well as I could with the cell phone um, it's in this vicinity yeah right here is about where it is not sure if that'll pick up good but I'll card in right now a short which I think did a better job I'm not sure what's to blame who's to blame uh, but I'm gonna keep this TV I don't have an issue with it at this point I'm just gonna soak it up um, as to an imperfection that some people will go through uh, what I will tell you is that the design on the back of the TV has these vertical lines so we went through that and you know at the rate of this TV its cost is around 4500 US dollars you want perfection you absolutely want perfection so inspect your TV and uh, go from there uh, I will tell you that I have been compensated for it though now there was a lot of talk in the comment section let's give a shout outs to keeping up with the Jones um, there were some other people that had some very great engagement within the last video that I made and there was some talk from some people that were just being weird it's the only way i can express myself to some of the stuff that i see here on this channel on this uh website not just my channel but the website um but it doesn't matter if you spend five hundred dollars or forty five hundred dollars on the tv uh you should ex you should expect for it to be flawless and these tvs don't come flawless um there's just some flaws in just the overall feeling of this so the part in which it says, you know, built better. Um, yeah, it does feel built better. It, it, it's not as thin as the 95B is. Oh, and for the sake of receipts, because, you know, we might have some people that might think, hey, this is the same video, same TV. Nah, look, we got receipts, baby. It's a whole new situation. Today is the 28th. It's a week later. It's a different TV. Just in case we might have some people think TKK is on cap. All right, so we're not going to do as much with this unboxing. We do have the T-mount for the Sanus base. Again, it'll be in the description. Uh, we just finished wrapping up a live. So in between me shooting this transition right here where we are in the prior one, we did an hour plus live as well as a short. You can definitely check it out. Uh, we're not going to focus too much on the, the dent on the panel. It is what it is. Uh, but again, this is a great option. I'm going to put this in the description. It's a great solution if you guys are like looking to do a receiver setup of any kind it will offer you more elevation and in my opinion it's just a more sturdy feel i just don't like the overall quality of the base that come excuse me that comes with this tv um so obviously you can make an executive choice get what you want to get but uh we've got this thing ready set to go so just going to get lifted out of the box and then get it put onto the other piece of the mount all right here's the money shot of the setup we've got the clip center two subs we got the left and the right this is all the uh baseline stuff gaming pc receiver thinning we've got a hud um h usb i'm sorry what am i talking about usb four port hub we've got the oculus quest 2 haven't thought to really invest into the playstation vr2 but we've got the ps5 so um my vr experience is for pc uh more so than for the console piece but Let's go ahead and get a peel of this thing. Challenging then, I remember. Always best to hold this part for last. You don't have to go in and do any initial cleanings to the television. Oh, this is put out there so that you guys can kind of, you know, have an idea as to what to expect. You know, you inspect the small things or the big things and make a decision on if you can leave with the, live with them. Um, in the live that we did do, we, we talked about a few things. Uh, yes, there are some imperfections back here, but it uh, doesn't do anything to the picture quality. This thing is absolutely beautiful. It's blue. The whites just pop right out of the box. I mean, it's 
it's incredible. I do see the, the increase in quality bill for this after the S95B. Um, I feel that personally, those that have some hate investment towards Samsung or whatever practices, they're gonna feel a little bit differently. Me, you know, this panel offers me what the A95K could not last year, and that is simply a larger display. That's really what I was trying to target uh, with this uh, piece of technology, with this particular purchase. This thing looks crazy. Haven't touched any settings or anything. It's just the retail mode demo. Black levels are, man. Yeah, this thing is popping. Beautiful. And the contrast is really nice on this thing. All right, guys. So uh, this this recording has taken place over a couple of days. So we want to bring some conclusion to this. Um, as you can see from me uh, flashing my cell phone in the earlier transition of this video, we started this on the 28th. We are now March 2nd. So we've made more content. We now have some um, opportunity to discuss and engage more on Sony's lineup. Uh, but this the point of this content uh, to bring a conclusion to this is this is a part of the review process. Um, you know, I, um, I'm extremely shocked at the many of comments that I've gotten from different people that I don't often talk to on YouTube that have said things along the lines of like, get over it or it's not a big deal or it's just on the back or, you know, th these different types of things. I, I believe I'm a firm believer that. People get caught up into the, the fake matrix on here where they believe that everybody that's reviewing a premium TV when it's first weekend or whatnot is either sponsored or it's given to them or something. You know, real people that spend real money will have real complaints. They will be real picky. Um, and it's not a bad thing. Um, you know, I, I would consider myself to be a heck of a customer anywhere I go. It doesn't matter where I'm spending money at, if it's if it's getting toiletries from Walmart or 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 some some type of uh, supplies from Home Depot or Lowe's or wh wherever it might be. Uh, I'm going to come with my bag ready and um, enough knowledge for me to make a great purchase. And so because of such, again, this is a part of the review process. You know, these panels on the back, the physical stature of them are not perfect. No one can tell me otherwise. I've got two TVs and I mean, two is enough for me to make a decision. Um, and so it has nothing to do with the picture quality. So I will be keeping the TV. I'm not looking to continuously uh, return TVs, return TVs, return TVs. This was no different than the S95B. And this is not like a bash at Samsung. However, it's just ironic. Um, with the S95B, panel bin, panel bin, panel bin. But third panel being is like, okay, yeah, I can live with it, right? Um, and then when you look at like um, display units, you look at them from the side, you're going to see some bends, some inconsistencies. And so it's only it's only to you get to a point where you see it so much where it's just like, okay, I could just see that, you know, this is just made this way or it's just a defect or maybe they don't see it as a defect. I'm not sure. So this is where there's just this mix in, you know, if it's quality control, if it's a damage in shipping. Um, the first dent that I actually had on the S95C that I reviewed or open boxed last week, uh, part of the dent was behind the styrofoam. So it's kind of hard, in my opinion, to say that it's because of the shipping, because you've got this hard block of styrofoam where it's thicker at the bottom um, that's protecting it. In any event, 
the content is just to bring you realistic realism, right? Um, so all the conversations about TVs on my channel are not going to be just about, you know, performance and, and, and visual fidelity. It, some of it's going to be just my experience, man, you know, and I would think that people would appreciate that, especially if you're considering buying one. So now people are going to know what to do. On the flip side, I've read some great comments where people have told me that, you know, they had theirs inspected, they had no issues, and that's great. I think that's absolutely uh, phenomenal, but it's worth considering, it's worth looking into. You know, I just think it's bad luck for me. Um, so this isn't like a hate train I'm trying to, you know, be a conductor of to, to push people to, you know, go against Samsung. I'm keeping this TV, this TV's not going anywhere, and I was compensated $500. Uh, I wasn't looking for that compensation, but it's it's a nice nice mix um to to add to the equation so if you guys happen to have any questions let me know we're going to keep the content going um and uh i'm going to catch you guys on the next video peace god bless max love